the more you awaken, the more your ego steps back, the mind steps back. And the more that the ego steps back, because the ego has kept you in this structured belief system of, of blame, of shame, of making you feel not worthy and all that sort of stuff that the ego likes to try and do. It likes to bring control mechanisms into our everyday life. And we all have an ego and we always will have an ego. Um, but the more you awaken and the more you become more conscious of, of who you are, where you are spiritually, emotionally, mentally and, and physically, that the ego becomes uh, a bit more tame, I suppose, becomes a little bit more understandable. But as that ego starts to subside and move away, what a lot of people then see is because that isn't there anymore as as the shadow of of the control mechanism that's that's in place. Um, and as that starts to move away, you start to see aspects of yourself a little bit more. You start to see the way you behave in a different way. You have more of a, I suppose, a, an external viewpoint of, of who you are and, who, and your life. And you become more consciously aware of, of your reactions and how you speak to people and what you say to people and and your daily interactions and, and how people make you feel as well. And some people will throw things at you and make things trigger and make you react in certain ways because that level of ego and conditioning is starting to move away, it's starting to subside. So it's bringing more stuff forward for you to be aware of, for you to be able to heal on some level. And so we see this more and more, especially now, even more so now than ever before, that there is so many people that are going through a lot of this stuff um, and need a level of, of healing um, internally to, to allow more balance and more light into their life. And mental health is, is a big one people struggle with mental health because it's that acceptance. It's almost like, um, if you think of, it just came to mind, but if you think of opening a tin of tuna, and if you don't like tuna, then you'll get me. I like tuna fish in a tin, but, um, but if you open a tin of tuna, I'm going off on a tangent, open up a tin of tuna and you get that strong, pungent smell of fish which a lot of people dislike that can sometimes be what is happening in <laughs> in the strange way of trying to explain it um that can be what is happening because you're unfolding something that's been buried down for so long that you haven't want to expose and you haven't want to deal with that all of a sudden it's like oh shit, where'd that come from? Oh, why did I say that? What made me react in that way? Why am I feeling that? Oh, what's this feel? What's this emotion? You know, and it, you become so aware of, of everything internally um, that you realize that something, something has to change, something has to be done. There is, there is something that needs to take place. And that's very much with a spiritual awakening. A spiritual awakenings for the majority of people will be through a path of suffering because the suffering is a teacher. The suffering is showing you something of the place that you've become, the place that you've put yourself in, or the suffering is the exposure of something that's been buried deep down and you've held on for so long. There's also a lot of inner child stuff that comes up with, with a lot of people. Um, things that they've held in from youth. Um, I've been one of them, you know, from, from being young, where you hold on to this sort of almost fear of who you were, even though that was like 
20, 30 years ago, or 30 plus years ago, um, 40 plus years ago, Jesus. Um, so, <laughs> so it makes, it, and then there's a lot of that starts coming up as well. So you then start to get that into the mix of everything else. And that's just you alone. It's going through your ancestral stuff, your inner child stuff. It's going through your mental health stuff. You're going through a spiritual awakening. You're realizing that the world around you is an illusion and it's, a, it's, it's all a lie. But you're also the creator of that lie and that illusion from your thoughts and your, the way you think, the way you feel, the way you speak. The reactions, the triggers, the emotions and the feelings all have a direct effect on you and the world around you as well. So for that to happen to one person out of however many millions there is now going through this, it's actually the whole population of the planet that is going through this because the whole population is going through a vibrational shift. It's the ones that are becoming more conscious that are actually now starting to birth in the new earth. They're now starting to bring in the new energies of compassion, love, healing, joy, togetherness, community that want to bring in this. And that is where, that is where the new earth, the new, new vibrational uh, frequency of, of life will be for, for so many of us. So for however many people there is on the planet, 7 billion, however, I don't even know if that's real, that's probably a lie as well, but however many millions, billions of people that there is on the planet that are all going through this, that are all going through this stuff, no wonder, <laughs> no wonder <laughs> this stuff goes on to create all this stuff coming up from within. Um, because energy is everything. And that's where your thoughts, your feelings, your actions, your emotions, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle of who you are is, is everything. And you alone on that frequency have a direct effect on everyone and everything everywhere that's how powerful we are that's how powerful your words your thoughts and your actions are so all we need to do is spread love we just need to stand up open our arms hug someone and spread love that's all we need to do we don't need countries have gone to wars for centuries, it's never worked. The only thing that it does work is it brings people's vibration down. That's why they create it. That's why they, they bring this stuff out to lower people's vibration, to put them in states of fear, fight, flight, and put them back into that, oh shit, what's gonna happen now? Um, but the more we just openly accept one another for who we are, where we are, whatever part of life, regardless of colour, race, gender, sexuality, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We're all here in the mix together. So why don't we just get along? Why don't we just get along? It's the systems that like to create the distractions and the illusions to not allow us to get along. So I just say, you know, fuck that. Get along. Just love each other and just show compassion. Peace out.